You know, the history of the Bahamas is really part of my heritage, but more importantly, you need to understand that there's a variety of islands here in the Barry Islands. And one of my favorite islands is Big Whale Key. And there was a book about Whale Key and a woman named the Queen of Whale Key. Her name was Marion Josephine Carsdale, and she went by Joe Carsdale. What was neat about her is she loved this race from Miami to Nassau in speedboats and held the world record in the 1920s. But more importantly, she discovered Whale Key and bought it from the Bahamian government in the 1930s. The cool part about this place is that she had a museum here. She built this great house that you see over my shoulder, had some really beautiful parties with lots of people. At one time had 1,200 people come from Nassau, brought 55 gallon barrels of wine and held these real elaborate parties for the rich and the famous. The thing that I think impresses me the most about this island is it's got paved roads throughout the whole island. The island itself, they say, has up to 20-something miles worth of roads and paving. How did they do that in the 1920s? But the walls and the architecture that they have here, they have in the walls that line all the roads certainly have little indentations. Each one of those indentations had a coconut palm tree, and I can only imagine what it looked like driving up this beautiful road to this driveway of this great house. If you're ever in the Berry Islands, I highly recommend that you might want to stop by Big Whale Key, get the book first, and check out some of the history of the Berry Islands.